Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 19th to the 25th of January 2015. There's two levels to this week, there's two stories going on, one involving Aquarius and the other one involving Pisces. And Aquarius and Pisces are the oldest signs of the zodiac. So they're here to take everything that we've learnt since the last Aries, the spring equinox, new beginning, and assimilate it, digest it, and make something of it, and then manifest it. So wherever Aquarius and Pisces is in your chart, you'll know that there's that knowing, you'll be able to feel into those senses this week. So we begin on Monday with Mars conjunct Neptune in Pisces, and conjunct means together. So Mars and Neptune together in Pisces. And Mars is where we take our soul force energy, the circle is the sun, and the arrow is it directed, so where we take our soul force energy and direct it in life, hopefully for higher purpose once we've got over the personality. And Neptune, like a tuning fork, is where we resonate truth from ourselves, where we absolutely know in sensation that something is true rather than having to think about it. So our passion is being directed inwards to resonate with real cellular knowing and truth, deep knowledge possibly over lifetimes, and then radiate from that point. So this will be around for a couple of weeks, but this week it's really strong, the Pisces story, where Mars and Neptune meet on Monday. But by Friday the Moon joins in as well, and the Moon is our subconscious thoughts and feelings, what's going on on the yin level, on the inside. So we can see that this is going to get even stronger. Which is good news because we need this as the base level of the week. We need to go deep into our cells, deep into that wisdom, the knowing, the right brain, and to actually connect with that soul self in order to keep us anchored through the other energies that are around. Because we have the sun going into Aquarius with a new moon on Tuesday, followed very shortly afterwards on Wednesday with a Mercury retrograde in Aquarius. So we can see a lot of Aquarian energy coming in here. And where Pisces is the soul and the cells of the body, Aquarius is the ether, the spirit and the electrics of the body. So with the sun and a new moon in Aquarius, this is very high voltage. And again, this needs to be directed to the highest possible thought forms rather than uh, crazy mentalism running around and burning out. So Aquarius is all about the purity, it's all about nourishing the heart flame within and being pure and simple and true to ourselves. But the temptation to be thinking too much with Mercury in Aquarius as well, especially turning retrograde, will be quite strong. So it's this week is to do with the mind and the cells and finding the balance between the two. So Mercury retrograde in Aquarius challenges us to think differently. We may think that we know things, we may be basing our decisions and our actions on an assumed knowledge, but this is the perfect time to go back and check the base beliefs. Is it actually true? Is the base belief of what you're acting upon really true? Or is it something that's just become true over time because we've not gone and checked? to see if that is actually the case. So Mercury retrograde, Mercury is the planet which is connected to the way that we tune into thought forms and process thought, manifest it into action. And Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, which is the higher octave of Mercury and therefore the higher mind. So the higher mind is being rewired now. Can we actually go in and look at where we're coming from? What's actually true? Aquarius loves to challenge everything, not just for the sake of it, but to stop us continuing a story that's not actually based on strong foundations. So the combination here of the new moon and Aquarius, starting a two-week window of invention and vision, purity and joy, fresh new life returning, nourishing that heart flame, but at the same time taking the mind inwards and maybe part of that purification this time will be going back and cutting back to basics when it comes to where we're coming from and what we're believing in. So really exciting Aquarian high voltage combination there, but could be a little bit mental. 
So with the underlying story of Mars, Neptune and the Moon all meeting in Pisces, there is an opportunity here for us to balance those. So we have the, the heart and the soul and we have the mind and the spirit. Can we get that all into alignment? Can we really go inwards just at this darkest point in winter, nourish the flame, be reborn, and then come out from there at the end of the retrograde period? Maybe saying less but speaking more deeply, tuning into higher forms, greater knowledge, eternal knowledge, rather than just repeating things that we've been told or things that were true once upon a time but have stopped being that way. So Mercury retrograde will take us all the way through to the 12th of February, so we've got a few weeks. Then there's normally about a week after that where things take their time to return to normal, so there's no rush with any of these stories. We're looking at about a two-week period with the new moon in Aquarius, the sun in Aquarius and Mercury retrograde in Aquarius to just gently take that retrospective to go through the looking glass and see everything differently. So those are the horoscopes for this week and I'll see you next week. This is the perfect time to learn astrology for yourself. You really don't need to keep going to other people to find out what's happening. It's actually something that you can learn quite easily for yourself. So I've created a 13 module astrology course that can be taken over the course of a year or up to three years working at your own pace. You get a video and some notes to follow and email access to myself so that you can work and walk with the planetary energies over a whole solar cycle or more and actually begin to feel them, to anchor them within yourself because astrology is all going on on the inside. So please do contact me if you're interested in beginning my Intuitive Astrology online course. This can be begun at any point during the year, but as the Sun is in Aquarius, and Aquarius is so well aligned to astrology, then this is a great time with the new moon on Tuesday to begin that new project and to give your higher mind something to do. Also on Friday, for anybody who's in London, I'll be giving a talk about the astrology of 2015 at the Moorgate branch of the Light Centre in London. So please do check out the Light Centre's webpage. I'll put the link below and do come along and join in with that talk if you're around to see what's coming up for the year. But if you're not available, then I am very happy to give you a forecast reading that can be done over Skype or in person so there's no need to miss out have a look at what's coming up for you in the stars as we start this wonderful month of Aquarius the Chinese New Year as well and the fresh energy coming in at the beginning of spring so for all of that please do check my website astrozo.com or the links below or contact me zoehind7 at gmail.com